this is this is definitely brother a valid point that Isa alayhi salam was the rasulun ila bani israel up till the point of him being raised to heavens yes he is basically going to be a witness for that period when he was rasulun ila bani israel and that was up till the point when he was taken and that was up till the point when he was taken فرنوا بنذر طاهر وجناني السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ In my recent debate with him Tiaz I caught him abrogating the verses of the Holy Quran I asked him that there are only two options either you show us from the Quran where Allah says I have abrogated this verse or you make the claim that Allah revealed to you that O oh, Imtiaz this verse of the Quran has been abrogated he was silenced on this and tried to say I didn't use the word abrogation if someone drinks alcohol calling it alcohol or someone drinks alcohol calling it water they are both still drinking alcohol you didn't use the word abrogation but you did abrogate the ayah of the Quran and no one can deny this mera ji kya haal hai meri awaaz theek hai haan ji imtiyaz bhai we're doing urdu we're doing english stream no no problem all good but if you Give like urdu we can do urdu no 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 inshallah we'll do english no problem okay uh, razi uh, because uh, this is your stream and uh, i will respect as you want to take it for inshallah forward so take as much time as you want speak make your point inshallah i'll be silent okay so i'll give you background i'm responding to your debate with not debate your answer to most since i and i'm showing the viewers that you said a verse of the quran is abrogated okay you, i and said this i will show you the audio right now are you do you Let want me, me to uh, wait a second one second yeah. let's go step by step okay yeah. you're saying that i said one of the verses of the quran is abrogated yes, right yes yes i can said I this you? right yeah can i show you first let's make it clear what you want to show okay yeah. you are saying that i said one of the verses of the quran is abrogated right yes yes okay now just play that statement in which i i said this okay so imtiaz bhi it's a there it's in this clip so let me just skip to it okay one second i'll put it on speed 2 क्योंकि मुझे एग्जैक्ट टाइम को नहीं पता इट्स इन दिस क्लिप व्हेन यू सेड सो गिव मी 1 सेकंड ओके रजी आई वाज अबाउट दिस फॉर देम आई एम गोइंग टू दैट क्लिप आई एम गोइंग टू दैट क्लिप गिव मी 20 सेकंड्स ब्रदर दैट्स फाइन दैट्स फाइन ऑल आई एम सेइंग इज ऑल आई एम सेइंग इज वी विल गो स्टेप बाय स्टेप ओके या या फॉर राइट नाउ यू आर ओनली प्ले दैट क्लिप यस दैट्स इट दिस 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 इज डेफिनेटली ब्रदर अ वैलिड पॉइंट दैट ईसा अलैहि सलाम वाज रसूलन इला बनी इसराइल up till the point of him being raised to heavens yes he is basically going to be a witness for that period when he was rasulun ila bani israel and that was up till the point when he was taken to and secondly brother astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhanbi wa atubu ilayh imtiyaz sahib you said hazrat isa alayhi salam was only rasulun ila bani israel until he was raised to the skies how do you justify who gave you the right to abrogate the ayah of the quran this is Have my question point? okay don't Now cut me off this. by the way wait don't cut me off i will give you full time okay and i want this to be respectful you're my elder and i will give you full respect you have come on my stream but when i'm speaking do not cut me off when you're speaking i will listen do you want to set time or do you want to just general discussion you can decide i have no let's issue. make let's make 2 minute by 2 minute theek hai just give me 1 second i'll i'll put timer but if you need extra time no issue this is you know friendly discussion ja dil hum billati hai ahsan you believe in that i believe in that let's have respect for dialogue so the people can benefit i will respect you no name calling nothing jazakallah you can begin all make notes and if you want to 
you can all mute myself jazakallah so now it's my turn to speak is it right g g okay no problem you want to play the uh, put the timer on so i can know you can speak i have it on my phone i don't know how imran said does it on no screen. worries no well, worries i have it on obs but not on stream yet. no worries when i when i get closer like 10 second left just give me hand gesture okay okay take your time okay alhamdulillah alhamdulillah was salatu was salam ala rasulillah amma ba'd okay before i begin razi uh is this uh, conversation we're going to have right now can i broadcast uh, on my channel right now yes you can okay give me that one second just while you do that just for the viewers I didn't get to finish the ad sir but this is good because in the side it's a video on him he has the first right to be here so I'm really Okay nobody does it uh, because I just want to save yeah. time because I don't yeah. know the process okay you let's can begin. download okay. it upload it no copyright no problem. you can share Now let me okay you said that you haven't made your point I believe that uh, you did make your point you made a earlier statement in which you said that imtiaz has said that this aya of the quran has been abrogated okay and then i gave you the opportunity to play the clip and i said i only want one thing play that exact statement in which i was saying that this aya of the quran has been abrogated so with the best of my knowledge you have not played so far i give you a second opportunity because i will go step by step because if there are two things razi one thing is that i make a statement and from that statement you get an impression as a listener that as though as i am saying that this aya is abrogated that is one thing other thing is that i make an clear statement that this aya of the quran is abrogated because i want to make it a pure academic respectful discussion not just like okay you said this i said this so which one of these two is your position i give you the chance first which one of these two is your position jazak alaikum ti asif you see uh, i you had a minute left so i'll be quick as well since you only took one minute you see the quran is al furqan wa man lam yahkum bima anzal allah fa ulaika humul kafirun inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun the kitabulla is mahfuz till qiyama if i take the quran and i say allah says in the quran ya ayyuhan nabi to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was a nabi but then his nabuwa was taken away or his risalat was taken away or i say allah says in the quran about this nabi that he is a rasul but he was a rasul up to this time now he is no longer a rasul this is abrogation so my view is that you clearly abrogated the quran rasulan ila bani israil where allah says isa alayhi salam is a rasul to bani israil you said and i can play the clip again you said he is a rasul for bani sail up till he was raised meaning he is no longer rasul an ila bani sail this is clear ka abrogation if you disagree with me i have your ulama we can call them and ask them that if someone says that this aya is no longer true as he says him is no longer rasul an ila bani sail is this abrogation or not so my view is you didn't use the word abrogate it's like me saying quran says muhammadur rasulullah wal ladina ma'ahu ashidda wal al kuffar but he is no longer a rasul by my words i am abrogating the quran i am taking that verse and saying it no longer applies i took one minute you can speak so razi i don't want to take one minute i will take 20 second if you are still claiming that i made an explicit statement that this aya of the quran has been abrogated then you have to play that bit number 1 number 2 if you are saying that what i said can can give this impression or can be even in your terms in your terms can be legitimately interpreted to say that as though as i was saying 
that aya has been abrogated if your position is first one in which you are claiming that i made a clear statement then please play that clear statement if your is second position then please acknowledge clearly we we'll talk about that inshallah ji jazakumullah imtiyaz sahib if i say the aya muhammadur rasulullah rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a rasul up to fatah makkah after that he was not a rasul which position am i taking one or two sorry if i say the i am no, have you answered my question razi i will answer in this turn but i'm asking you what you how your thought process razi, is please, this is the problem okay, we I'll always the, have when we talk to you that instead of it. instead of giving the answer you make another question my my request is please okay. let the listener listen what i'm saying my, and then play something okay wait, position, razi. My, razi wait yeah, razi wait yeah. if i have made a clear statement that this aya of the quran has been abrogated you then you have to play the clear statement yeah. that is one option yeah if i have not made the clear statement then you should say that imtiaz did not make a clear statement however he said such and such and from that you concluded that as though as i was saying that so please take a clear position and then we can speak the clear position is that imtiaz has explicitly i repeat explicitly abrogated the ayah of the quran rasulan ila bani sail or play the clip again i'm playing wait wait i'm playing wait 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 razi wait i'm saying third and for the last time okay if you will I behave like that option. i razi listen razi listen listen if you want to behave like that razi there's no point to for me to stay here let me say it one last time yeah if i have made a statement that this aya of the quran has been abrogated yeah if i have made this statement play my statement okay. number 1 i'm one. about to play it wait yeah and if you do not play this statement in which i am saying that this aya of surah al maida has been abrogated if you do not play this statement am i justified to say you are a liar okay are you done please speaking? answer my question before playing anything yeah. okay firstly imtiaz sahib you're in the maidan now so do not say there's no point of speaking how do you want me to behave you said don't behave this way how do you want me to behave tell me I'll okay behave. let me tell you yeah. you asked let me tell you yeah. razi it's been three times and everybody who's listening and watching or th- those who will watch later on they can see what i'm asking you Let's okay wait, wait let wait. me finish first i am saying if your claim is that i as muhammad imtiaz yeah made a explicit statement in which i said that this aya of the quran of surah al maida has been abrogated if i said this then you don't need to do any commentary just play that statement in okay. which i saying this that's first option <clears throat> second option everybody can understand if i did not say this if i did not make this statement however however from whatever i said this is your conclusion then we'll talk about that and i will prove you wrong on that one as well but first i want you to take a clear position now okay. please Razi, i'm not saying, speak now play my statement in which i am saying that this aya of the quran has been abrogated okay can i speak now play the statement first dazi go we'll play it, but you shouldn't cut me off on my stream let me speak as well okay let's have a good discussion brother i'm playing the clip now just let me know if you hear okay that isa alay salam that isa alay salam one second one second i'll start again brace the ship they will be the people under question in that ayah that's it's more I mean, this, is, this is this is this is definitely brother a valid point that isa alay salam was rasulan ila bani israil up till the point of him being raised to heavens yes did you hear what you said i did hear okay so what did you say here razi my look my request to you is no matter what you are saying about me on your channel okay you don't see anything I, wrong about you wait, i wait, wait. i will come to that one second one second brother today i, I will 
I am, I am apologized in this story. Let me, finish first. Wait, let me speak too, please. I give let you me finish first. Time. Let okay. me finish my point. Okay. All I'm saying, Razi, is you can remove the screen, please, so we can see each other. Now, look, Razi. Today I am here, yeah. and I will sit in this chair as long as you will want me to sit here. That's one point. Alhamdulillah. 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 I have prayed Isha already. Mashallah. Now I am free till Fajr. I prayed Fajr here, so I'm free till Zohar. Alhamdulillah. So no problem, no issue of time. That's one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Second thing is Razi. Look, Razi, regardless of how much you hate me or agree or I disagree. I don't with hate me. you, brother. In the start of the stream, I said this. Razi, can I complete a point okay, first? But please do not say these things because I'll let you speak. Give me one second. Okay, says, you love me. Okay, wait, love you love me. For the sake of Allah that you be guided. Okay, like, let me, you, some, you, do you want Allah to deal with this love first? Or you want, okay, I want to deal with the ayah first and then the love thing will okay, come later. Okay. okay, now, Razi, you know this very well. We have played this clip multiple times you have not been able to find where i am saying that this ayah of the quran has been abrogated now the second which is a legitimate objection i'm not denying that that you as a listener you watch that thing and you get this impression and you think as though as i have said that it's very clear razi that yours is second position, not the first one. Why? Because, Razi, let me finish. Don't make this gesture. Because, Razi, for the last time, please play that bit. It may be 10 seconds, 20 seconds, no problem, in which Muhammad Imtiaz is saying that this ayah of the Quran has been abrogated. These five or 10 words. If you play, matter is finished. We can move on. But you know Razi is not there. Now the next thing which I am already registering as objection. It's a legitimate question you can ask me. That, okay, Imtiaz, you said this. What do you mean by that? It's a legitimate academic discussion. Good question. I will address that. But please Razi, be fair and honest. First acknowledge that. That Imtiaz did not say that this ayah of the Quran has been abrogated. Please be fair. Yes. Okay, now Imtiaz said, I let you speak for 1 minute 30, I didn't cut you off. So I humbly request that on my channel, you allow me to speak without cutting me off. Is that fine? If you allow, shuru karnu mein baat. Imtiaz bhai, look, wording is really important. If I say, Allah says in the Quran, Muhammadur Rasulullah. Muhammad is Rasulullah up till Fatah Makkah. After that, he is not Rasulullah. Naudu Billah Min Zalik. I am abrogating that ayah, even though I didn't use the word abrogation. So you abrogated the ayah without using the word abrogation. So I stick to my first position that you abrogated the ayah, brother. You said Rasulan ila Bani Sail is up to Rafa. This is abrogation, brother. Wallahi, this is my belief. If you disagree with me, it's fine. You can say I disagree with you. I don't believe it's abrogated. But you saying that the verse no longer applies and you saying that he is Rasul up to Rafa. This is abrogation, ya khi. This is what abrogation is. There is no longer Rasul and Ilabani said. But the Quran I have, there's many Qurans behind me translated in many languages. They still say is Rasul and Ilabani said. When Isa Lassam comes and he reads the ayah, Rasul and Ilabani said, he's not Rasul and Ilabani said according to you. So this brother, even though the word abrogation is not used by you, which you are right, I agree with you. If I said, that you use the word abrogation, I was wrong, I apologize. But if I said your words are explicitly saying the ayah is abrogated, I stand by my view, you have abrogated the ayah of the Quran. I give you the example of Muhammad Rasulullah, when your Messiah comes, he reads the ayah, the ayah is no longer applicable, so it is abrogation. Gee, my two minutes are over. 
So Alhamdulillah, we don't need to go into circles. So you admit it and I appreciate that. I did not make this statement that this ayah of the Quran has been abrogated. I appreciate that by the way. Okay, now let's move on. Now, no need to go for long, you know, speeches from either side. We'll go very simple point to point. Okay. After, now, as you know, and we both agree on this one, that this era, entire mankind, is, is the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Either Ummatul Dawa or Ummatul Istijaba. You agree? Does it just show the, do you agree? Okay. So now because obviously you are asking me and that's the, that, that was the whole reason I came here because I don't want you to be saying things or having those perceptions, okay, which are not true. Now, there are two things, Razi, and you know that very well. One thing is called that status of a prophet. If you ask me, Imtiaz, what is your position? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appoints or makes or gives somebody the rank of a prophet, can that ever be taken away from this person? The answer is absolutely not. Never. Okay. Once a prophet, always a prophet. So that is out of the question that if a person appointed as prophet, can it ever be taken from him? This thing is, I have made a clear statement. Now, second thing is called Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointing a prophet first or giving him the prophethood and then appointing him as a risala, as a messenger to a certain community in any specific time, right? For example, in this particular example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it very Your clear. Time is done, but please okay, no finish. Oh, no, no finish, finish. You can finish. You can no, finish. no, no worries. I will stop here. Okay. <clears throat> One second. Jazakalim Tiyasib. So, firstly, you said that there are two things, status of a prophet. A position is that a prophet, once he's a prophet, he can never lose his nabuah. So you believe when Isa Lassim comes, he will still have his Nabuwa and his Salat. Firstly, what is your fatwa on someone who's saying, who says that he will no longer be in prophetic mission? Do you believe this? That when Isa Lassim comes, he will not be in a prophetic capacity? He will not be a functional Nabi? Is this your position? That's the first question. Second thing is, the Ayah Rasul and Ila Bani Israel. You said he was Rasul and Ila Bani Israel up to Rafa. Okay? After the Rafa, he is no longer Rasul and Ila Bani Israel. But Quran says he is Rasul and Ila Bani Israel. So which eye of the Quran allows you to remove his status as Rasul and Ila Bani Israel? There's two options in Tiyasaib. Number one, you give me an eye of the Quran which says Isa alayhi salam is not going to be the Sulan Ila Bani Israel when he comes. That's one option. Number two is you see that Allah told you that Imtiaz Sahib, this ayah is mansukh or abrogated. 